recorded by Miss S. E. Waldo, a disciple. Tuesday, 2nd July 1895 The Divine Mother, Shaktas worship the universal energy as Mother, the sweetest name they know, for the Mother is the highest ideal of womanhood in India. When God is worshipped as Mother, as Love, the Hindus call it the right-handed way, and it leads to spirituality but never to material prosperity. When God is worshipped on His terrible side, that is, in the left-handed way, it leads usually to great material prosperity, but rarely to spirituality, and eventually it leads to degeneration and the obliteration of the race that practices it. Mother is the first manifestation of power and is considered a higher idea than father. With the name of Mother comes the idea of Shakti, Divine Energy and Omnipotence, just as the baby believes its mother to be all-powerful, able to do anything. The Divine Mother is the Kundalini, called up power, sleeping in us, without worshipping her we can never know ourselves. All-merciful, all-powerful, omnipresent are attributes of Divine Mother. She is the sum total of the energy in the universe. Every manifestation of power in the universe is Mother. She is life, she is intelligence, she is love. She is in the universe yet separate from it. She is a person and can be seen and known, as Sri Ramakrishna saw and knew her. Established in the idea of Mother, we can do anything. She quickly answers prayer. She can show herself to us in any form at any moment. Divine Mother can have form, rupa and name, nama or name without form and as we worship her in these various aspects we can rise to pure being, having neither form nor name. The sum total of all the cells in an organism is one person, so each soul is like one cell and the sum of them is God, and beyond that is the Absolute. The sea calm is the Absolute, the same sea in waves is Divine Mother. She is time, space and causation. God is Mother and has two natures, the conditioned and the unconditioned. As the former, she is God, nature and soul, man. As the latter, she is unknown and unknowable. Out of the unconditioned came the Trinity, God, Nature and Soul, the triangle of existence. This is the Vishishtadvaitist idea. A bit of Mother, a drop, was Krishna, another was Buddha, another was Christ. The worship of even one spark of Mother in our earthly Mother leads to greatness. Worship her if you want love and wisdom.